Hello, what's up you guys and welcome back to another video for GTA 5. I'm your host Very High and I'm going to get you up to speed to mod for GTA in 2021. I know a lot of people are coming uh, to GTA 5 modding because of Ellis Life. It's awesome. A lot of cool people's YouTube channels are playing this game and it's getting a lot of people who have never modded before into modding GTA 5. So I'm going to show you guys how to get started because I get asked all the time like, Dude, I put this, I downloaded it, but it's not working. Well, I'm going to show you why it's not working. Step number one, guys, you need these two files or else you are not modding anything in GTA 5. You cannot mod at all without these two essential files. The first one being script hook V. You need script hook V before you can do any kind of modding. And you can simply just Google it, all one word, script hook V. Go to this web page, click download. And once you've got it open, it's going to look a little something like this. All right, so you've got script hook V downloaded. <clears throat> You're going to open up the archive. And again, if you do not have a way to open up archives, what you'll want to do is download WinRAR. Okay, just look up WinRAR, go to uh, rarlabs.com, rarlab.com, download, and download WinRAR, or you can use something, uh, 7-Zip, 7-Zip is free, okay, WinRAR is free, it'll just keep asking you to buy it though, so use these to open up zip archives if you don't have anything to open them up with, alright, so you got open for downloaded, you're going to enter in this file here, this folder. You see these three files? All I do is I select these two. I'm not going to use the native trainer because we're going to get to that part later. I'm going to use a different trainer. But for right now, we just go back to our GTA 5 main game directory. It's where the game is installed on your computer. I'm in Epic Games, so it's in my Epic Games folder. Now I'm going to select these two files, the D input 8. And script took V, I'm just going to drag it straight into the main GTA 5 directory. All right. It's like, hey, dude, you've already got these files. So, you know, we're going to replace them. Bam. We've got that done. We don't need to have script took V open anymore. The next essential file is going to be community script hook or what is known as script hook V dot net. You can find this on GTA five mods.com as well as a link down in the description box for this video. So community script took V dot net. <clears throat> Click the download button here. It's going to take you to their official github.com page. Now that you're on this uh, latest version of script took V.net scroll down and you'll notice there's a zip file to download. Go ahead and download the zip file for version 3.1.0. All right. Once you've got that downloaded, go on ahead and open her up and you'll notice all these files. What we're going to do is select all of these files like this. We do not need the license and we do not need the readme, but we need all of these. Now, going back to our main GTA 5 directory, all we're going to do is drag and drop. Bop. Just like that. All right. You drag those six items into your directory and now you have script hook V and community script hook V.net installed. Those are the two cornerstones to modding for gta 5 now we're going to move on to the next uh aspect and this one's really easy now you just need to create a scripts folder you can see i have one right here and this is where i place all of my scripts if you do not have a scripts folder it's easy if you're on windows 10 you can click this new folder icon up here and just name it uh, scripts or you can uh, simply right click and create a new folder. I'm going to right click, go to new, click folder, and just call it scripts. Okay, that's how you do that. And that's all you need to do as far as getting started with modding for scripts. Now we're going to get technical. Now's the part where I show you how to install Open 4. Open 4 is very integral if you want to add vehicles if you want to add maps if you want to add clothing and jewelry and hair and tattoos and stuff like that you are going to need open 4 there's no way around it at all you cannot install 
anything without it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the browser and just go to openiv.com. Now click on the download. <clears throat> and we're going to get this installed. All right, now that we have the download downloaded, let's begin the installation process. I went ahead and uninstalled my version of Open 4 just to show you guys what a clean installation looks like. So I speak English, so I'll click on English, go to continue. I accept the user agreement. Now it's going to uh, choose the installation you want. Uh, install Open 4 to this computer, create a desktop icon. Sure, why not? And uh, it just shows you where it's going to save it in our app, in our app data. So I'm going to hit OK. Say yes. It's just under 20 megabytes to install. <clears throat> okay, installation of Open 4 has been completed successfully. Let's click close. And now we can open up Open 4. It may ask you on this next screen to locate where your game is saved. So uh, here's the starting screen. You can pick the different games that you want to edit. We're gonna choose Grand Theft Auto 5. Click Windows, because that's what I'm on. Now it's asking us to locate our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. So since I'm on Epic Games on PC, I'm gonna go to my C drive, click Program Files, Epic Games, GTA 5. That's all we had to do. Hit select folder it should look like this and then we are going to click continue do not forget to back up your original files before editing always remember that guys always back up your files always be backing up i have a folder here on my desktop called open for backup to back that shit up you gotta back that thing up <clears throat> okay all right there you go we're now inside of open four our next step once we're inside of open four we are going to click on tools and ASI manager boop boop okay so I currently have these installed but let's go ahead and uninstall them just so you get an idea of what you need to do so once you're inside of the ASI manager you just need to go ahead and click install install and it's going to ask you to create a mods folder that's where you say a yes then uh, I also used open camera it lets you uh, enhances the free camera boundary limitations in the rockstar editor that's cool let's close that now you see it created this purple little mods folder here. Now if you look underneath, that's my original mods folder. I just renamed it so that I can show you guys how to make the mods folder. Now we got our mods folder. If you look inside, it's empty. Well, this is what the mods folder is for. So typically all of these right here, these RPFs, these hold data, like actual solid game files. Uh, and if we look in our update folder, it um, has this x64 and update rpf update rpf holds a lot of valuable information your game config your dlc list uh vehicle metadata levels data all kinds of stuff is going to be in here and typically when you click on this it's going to ask you whoa, 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 whoa. you don't want to edit this maybe you want to take this into your mods folder so let's click on update.rpf and it's saying, hey, to add or edit files, please switch to edit mode. You can select set edit mode as a default in open for configuration. All right, so here's what we are going to do. We're going to select edit mode. And once we select edit mode, it's going to then prompt us to back up our update RPF. Boom, there you go. So it says the mods folder. Uh, the archive you're currently editing is not located in your mods folder. So what it's going to do is copy this update RPF to our mods folder so that we are editing the mods folder version of update RPF and not the core version of update RPF. So let's go ahead and copy that mods folder. Again, this may take some time depending on how 
large your uh, update.rpf is and you know how fast or slow your computer might be. And there you go, guys. Look at the address tile bar up here. We're in open 4 GTA 5 mods update update.rpf. There you go. And there you have it. That's how you get started using open 4 to start modding for GTA 5. The next step is a trainer. You're probably wondering, what in the is a trainer, dude? Was this a Pokemon? No, nah, a trainer is going to give you access to spawn vehicles. You can spawn characters. You can change the way your character looks to a different character. You can teleport to a different location. All kinds of little features are packed inside of these trainers. There's different ones. They all have different features, but they all pretty much do the same thing. They help you out. So there are two very typical trainers that people like to use. If we go to GTA5Mods.com, we'll find them both here. Now, me personally, ooh, I like this right there. Oh, what is that? A ZR250? Okay, I like that. Typically, me, uh, I use Menu. But a lot of people, and this is the first one I ever used, they use Simple Trainer. So we're just going to look up Simple Trainer. I'm going to show you how to install both of these. And depending on your preferences, you might like one more than the other. I like Menu. But for simple trainer, it's really simple. <laughs> All you gotta do, download that file, go on ahead now, nah. open it up, and you'll see all these files. Go ahead and read that README, because it's gonna give you a whole lot of information. It's gonna tell you how to install it. It's gonna tell you how to customize it, because simple trainer is very customizable, huge. Look at how big this, this file is. Anything you wanna know about Open4 is in this README file. Please read your README files. But to install it, we need these two, trainer.ini and trainerv.asi. So if I go back into my GTA 5 main directory, I would just have to drag and drop those right over here like that. And there you go. You now have uh, Simple Trainer installed on your computer. And if you want to use Simple Trainer, I believe it is the F3 key on your keyboard will bring up the menu. So... We'll demonstrate how to use that in a second. The next uh, trainer that I like to use the most is Menu. So again, on GTFIMods.com, I go to the search box. I'm going to type M-E-N-Y-O-O, -O, Menu. It's going to be this first result right here. And when I click on this, it is going to take me to the GitHub. Also, ch always, always always download it from the github the official web page so we look down here in the description box it says the official menu download can be found on github so let's go or we could just click the green download button there we go it's going to take us to their github page you can see it's menu pc version 1.4.0 go ahead and get that thing a thumbs up brother all right let's download menu go ahead and give it a click open it up and of course, the README again is going to give you all the documentation you need to navigate through the menus, how to use it. You can use a controller, you can use a keyboard. If you're on a controller, you can hit the right bumper and left on the D pad to open it up. Or you can press F8 on the keyboard to open this up. Now, it's a pretty straightforward installation. All we need to do is place menu.asi and the menu stuff folder into the GTA 5 main directory like this. So I'm going to select menu.asi and menu stuff folder, locate my main GTA 5 directory once again, and simply drag and drop. Now I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to overwrite the install that I have, but that's how you install menu or simple trainer, or if you want both. Now I'm going to show you guys how to hop into the game and use these trainers all right guys so here we are in los santos um inside the game i'm in a shootout with a bunch of people that want to kill me right now but uh i'm going to show you how to use uh both simple trainer and menu okay so here we are 
I'm just gonna hit uh, for simple trainer. I just need to hit F3. What the fuck? Anyways, I'm just gonna turn on simple trainer by hitting F3. Boom. And if you want to navigate the menu, let me turn this shit down. If you want to navigate the menu, all you got to do is on your number pad. That is the keys on the very far right that have numbers. You're going to use two to go down, eight to go up. You're going to hit five to select. If you want to go left and right on things, you just use four to go left and six to go right. And if you want to back up, you can hit the zero key or backspace. That is how you use a uh, simple trainer. Now, if you want to use menu, all we got to do is hit F8 and typically it'll load up and you'll have to hit F8 two times, but so we'll just hit F8 and then you can use the arrow keys and we could do stuff like this. I can like, you know, turn myself into, I don't know, a piggy and run around the city. Damn. Am I dead? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Shit, I could be a dead. I could be Chop, the dog Chop. Just start eating the motherfucker's face off. Got him. Um, let's see. We can get inside of vehicles if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and uh, we can spawn a vehicle. Go to vehicle options, vehicle spawner. Uh, we get a coop. Sure. Now we're a dog in a coop. Oh, wait. I don't think dogs can drive. So, uh, let's go back to player options. Model changer. Gang males. Chinese goon squad. What it is, fool. All right. Let's hop in a whip. Let's go ahead and spawn a, a car. You can do all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, wardrobe. You can change the way somebody looks. Now, depending on what kind of character you are, you may or may not have options. Oh, my gosh. I think we just got hit by a train. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely a train right there. But, yeah, based on what character you have, you have uh, limited options. Um... You know, so you can like change up the torso. Oh damn, that's a cool jacket. Oh damn, this fool's this fool got some style. I don't know what's up with them boots though. Switch up the pants a little bit. Put some different uh can't do anything with the hands. Maybe we can switch his shoes up. We'll switch the shoe game up. No, can't do shit. So yeah, guys, that's open for that simple trainer. This has been another GTA 5 Mods tutorial video. I hope you guys got something out of it. And if you did, please drop a like. Help me grow the channel and subscribe to this bit. We try to get astronomical amounts of subscriptions to this channel, man. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comment box. I'm your dude very hot. And this... Dude, boy, come here. Boy. Boy. That's right. This has been another GTA 5 Mods tutorial video. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. And until then, uh, stay dangerous, stay out of trouble, and uh, don't get caught.